Guru Busters! <laughs> This guy has been getting on my nerves for a long time. He has been bombarding YouTube with his promotional onslaught, so much so that his ads precede even our videos, a channel dedicated to unmasking the very breed of fake gurus he exemplifies. The irony is thick, but so is our resolve to expose him. As we peel away the layers, what do we find beneath? None other than a clown, perfectly fitting for the circus he's created. You asked for getting exposed. So here we go. We will go into his questionable past, unravel his manipulated trading results, reveal his poncho for paper trading, and expose his pretense of trading substantial volumes when, in fact, he is merely chuckling pennies. Beyond that, we will showcase his strategy of planting fabricated news articles about himself online and his schemes to ensnare unsuspecting victims into his web of worthless trading advice, all while dumping obscene amounts of money into YouTube advertisements. Make no mistake, Vadera is not just a scammer, he is the epitome of failure in the trading guru guise. And we are here to lay bare the facts. Let's kick off with the elephant in the room, his relentless advertising. Curiously. These ads are ghosts on his channel, hidden from the public eye. Why the secrecy? Perhaps because Vadera doesn't want you to see the staggering view account that could reveal the obscene amounts he is spending to peddle his snake oil. His regular content might garner around 30,000 views on a good day. Usually he gets less than 10,000. So what would you guess how many views his ads get? To uncover the scale of his ad invasion, a detour through the Google Ads Transparency Center is needed. Searching for G7FX, Vadera's brand name. What we find is an array of around 600 ads, also many seem to be the same. If we click an ad, we can watch it here, but we don't get any stats, like how often this ad was shown on YouTube. Diving deeper. We employ a neat trick to bypass YouTube's hiding game by delving into the HTML code to snatch the YouTube video ID, allowing us to witness the ad in its full glory on YouTube itself. What the fuck? He paid for 4.7 million views for just this ad alone. Remember, bypassing an ad within the first 30 seconds doesn't tick the view counter hinting that this ad alone could have invaded screens upwards of 50 million times. Imagine the level of investment required to achieve such a feat. This isn't just a question of marketing. It's a full-scale bombardment intended to lure in the naive and the hopeful into Vadera's illusionary world. Let's take apart these ads. What bullshit and lies is he saying in them and how he is trying to convince gullible people to pay him. The ads are basically all following the same script. Vadera launches his spiel by outright dismissing basic chart analysis, insinuating that using such rudimentary tools equates to literally burning your money. Interestingly, he is actually right in his critique. But here is where the narrative takes a cunning turn. He leverages this truth to cast himself as a beacon of honesty in an otherwise murky market. He's not just criticizing ineffective trading strategies, he's also pointing fingers at other fake YouTube traders, all to paint himself as the solitary truth teller amidst a sea of charlatans, enticing you into his fold and ultimately into buying his trading courses. He then pitches his exceptionally powerful techniques, supposedly mastered during his stint at Barclays. It's a compelling story setting him up as a custodian of forbidden knowledge. Yet, we must not lose sight of the fact that this is the same individual whose claims of a current professional background start to crumble upon closer examination, revealing a shaky foundation at best. And then, we arrive at Vadera's boldest claim, proclaiming himself as the only 1% audited pro trader on social media. If only there was a shred of truth to that. As we are about to unveil, these so-called verified track records 
are as solid as a soap bubble in the wind. Vadera's ad campaign is more than just a marketing strategy. It's a carefully constructed illusion meant to divert attention from the significant gaps in his professional story and supposed audited triumphs. He presents himself as a purveyor of truth, the reliable guide in a realm rife with deception, all the while selling his own version of a fantasy. It's a clever ploy, using a legitimate criticism of retail trading as a lure to reel you into his ecosystem of courses, his narrative, his verified fantasy. Beyond the relentless flood of YouTube ads, what other tactics does Badera employ to prey on the desperate? His YouTube channel, a veritable trove of deception, serves as nothing more than a sophisticated trap. If you are under the impression there is genuine wisdom to be unearthed in his videos, it's time for a reality check. Instead, what we find is a rabbit hole of misinformation, each video a stepping stone leading directly to his website and, ultimately, to the checkout page of his course. £1,500. Are you serious? Guys, this is fraud. This is fraud. Let's just take a peek at the video titles and thumbnails. I cracked the code. Best money making order flow trading tactics for 2024. $800 in 5 minutes. Do this now. Scalping cheat codes to make $1,000 every day. <laughs> Guys. Who is falling for that? Who is falling for that? All of this constructed by an absolute zero claiming to be a financial genius. And then he stoops even lower. One after another, articles appear, each loading Madeira like he is the second coming of the trading messiah. But let's not be fooled. These articles are paid advertisements dressed up as genuine journalism. The audacity? The utter lack of transparency with most of these prestigious outlets not even bothering to reveal they sold out. Peddling their journalistic souls to whoever fills their coffers. Nira Fadera takes trading seriously. Find out how you can build your skills. So seriously, in fact, he's built an empire of fiction, where building skills means navigating a maze of his own hype. Expert trader Nero Fadera on the benefits of learning to trade properly. Expert in the art of embellishment, perhaps. Learning to trade properly under Fadera's guidance seems akin to learning navigation from a captain who is only sailed in the bathtub. G7FX founder Nero Fadera is providing clarity in FX and futures trading. Clarity, or as we like to call it, a fog machine set to max. Ah. At least this one. Tucked away at the very bottom, a tiny confession, sponsored feature. To admit it's just another piece of Fadera's sponsored narrative masquerade. Who, you might ask, falls for this nonsense? Pause and ponder this for a moment because it's critical. Fadera's manipulative marketing isn't aimed at the sharp or savvy. It's squarely aimed at those drowning in desperation, those clutching at straws, hoping to find their financial salvation. A fraction of these folks will inevitably tumble into the clutches of Badera's scheme. And make no mistake, despite the grand facade, we are dealing with a loser here. A fact we are about to lay bare with undeniable clarity. Now we approach the pinnacle of Nero Badera's audacity, his claims of a verified trading record, his trading success. It's always the same with his fake moves. They talk a big game, promise the moon, but when it comes to showing concrete, audited proof of their long-term profits, suddenly it's like they are in a witness protection program. If they truly had real, long-term profits, we'd see them parading these achievements, not concealing them. Unlike most who don't even attempt to feign verification, but there are claims a verified track record. So let's venture deeper into Vadera's claims of verification and see if there is any substance to them. Or if they are just another layer of the facade. We are on his website. I have received the best training possible from some of the largest institutional firms in the world. <laughs> yeah, right. We will dismantle that shortly. And have a proven track record of successful trading. 
see FAQs for a link to my 100% independent audit. Verified by my FX book. <laughs> my FX book, really? Guys, that's not an audit. It's worth nothing. In fact, it's worth less than nothing because it shows he's avoiding a real audit, which he wouldn't avoid if he was a profitable trader. It's so easy to manipulate these shitty sites like my FX book. There are a few such sites, some even run by scammers themselves. And he's actually showing us one of the manipulations he did, open for us to see. So we follow the link here. <laughs> oh man, how dumb can you be to show this? Firstly, he's hiding all the stats, all the trades, all the numbers. And it's only for 15 months from 2020 to 21. And look at this, how more obvious can you tell us you faked it? He employs the simplest trick in the book. Here, you see that? Of course he isn't able to show a consistent performance, as he is a loser. So what he does is he simply opens maybe 10 or 20 tiny accounts and after one month he adds the most profitable one to his MyFX book profile. Then he closes it and starts all over again. By that he is able to show a positive performance each month, but each month it's a different account. That's why you have that weird graph which is restarting all the time. Oh boy, what a fucking clown. Guys, always insist on indisputable evidence from anyone peddling their trading expertise. A journey professional trader wouldn't hesitate to have their track record officially verified. It's not expensive. I paid 100 pounds for having notarized proof. But he can't do that as a loser. That's why he is faking proof on this shitty site. Before we dive deeper, we need to set the record straight on something important. It grinds my gears when someone on YouTube claims to expose a scammer, parading as if they've done all the legwork, when in reality they are just rehashing discoveries made by others, often found on platforms like Reddit. Let me be clear. We have undertaken 100% of the research for every scammer we've brought to light so far. However, it's only fair to acknowledge that Badera isn't entirely uncharted territory. True, the YouTube content about him leaves much to be desired, but in our quest for truth we stumbled upon a goldmine, a detailed thread in a forex forum. The contributors there have compiled an impressive dossier on Badera, and it's only fair to acknowledge their diligent work. We are not here to claim their efforts as our own. Instead, we aim to highlight some of their pivotal discoveries, giving credit where it's due. You will find the link to this enlightening thread in the description below. A must visit for anyone keen on understanding the full scope of Adera's deception. The discoveries made by these diligent forum users are utterly outrageous. Take for example one user's astute observation. I quote from his post. On the 8th of April 2020, he took a live trade as part of the G7FX course. Of course he hides his account details, however, when he hovered his mouse over the TP line, we got a flash of his position size. He then located the same trade on Madeira's MyFX book page, which at the time was still showing more details. Simple math. Account size equals profit divided percentage gain equals 1192 pounds and 50 pence. <laughs> <laughs> so our super trader here has 1000 pounds in his account. <laughs> but you already know why from what he told you earlier. He needs to have many accounts to be able to have a profitable one after each month, which he then can add to his profile. But it gets even better. In a thread they link, evidence surfaced that in his early scamming days, he wasn't even risking any money. He used demo accounts and thought nobody would recognize. K means demo account. I strongly suggest you go through the threads and see how they linked his accounts together. Beyond G7FX, it turns out he apparently had scammed Twitter accounts and another website he shut down in 2014. On his vanished website, which we've trashed up using the Wayback machine, Radera is caught red-handed promoting technical indicators. Yes, the very same indicators he now treats like the Blake. Our guy, who currently scoffs off the mere mention of signals and technical analysis, was once their biggest cheerleader, long after his Barclays charade. Witnessing Vadera condemn these tactics now is like watching a stand-up routine where the comedian forgets he's a joke. You really can't make that up. What an absolute clown he's revealed himself to be. 
In a labyrinth of Nira Federa's tall tales, we venture deeper to dissect the grandiose claims of his professional past. He boasts, after graduating school, I learned to trade at Cass Business School and the graduate program at Barclays Investment Bank. In his ads, he even flaunts his LinkedIn page as proof of his tenure at Barclays. Let's be absolutely clear here. That doesn't mean shit. Guys, millions are employed by banks and hundreds of thousands have jobs related to trading. Simply working at a bank doesn't equip you with the skills to churn out profits through some secret trading system. Even if his job was trading related, for which there is zero evidence. What are we supposed to believe? That he, as a fresh graduate, was sitting there and chuckling millions? That notion is laughable. Moreover, if it were that simple for bankers to ditch the office for lucrative trading from their living rooms, wouldn't we see a flood of bankers doing just that? The notion that someone could simply learn to trade at a bank and then apply those exact strategies to personal trading from at home is ridiculous. Anyway, the bulk of trading related activity in banks isn't about someone executing clever strategies. It's about executing trades on behalf of customers, managing risk and ensuring compliance with regulatory standards. Institutional trading involves access to vast amounts of capital, sophisticated technology, proprietary research and a network of professionals, all of which don't translate directly to the solitary retail trading environment Badera suggests he has mastered. I quote from his website again. This was followed by work at various international prop firms and hedge funds. The experience I gained at these institutions set me on my path towards becoming a successful private trader. This is, frankly, a blatant lie. There is no record of him working anywhere significant after his likely dismissal from a low-level role at Barclays. The forum detectives nailed it once again, exposing Vadera's own admission in an early post. Back in 2013, Vadera declared he took the plunge to go independent four years prior. Let that sink in. This plunge, it seems, was less of a dive into the deep end of trading excellence and more of a belly flop into the shallow pool of make-believe success. As you read his own words, remember, this is the same man who now tries to sell us his decades of institutional expertise. What a clown. But again, it gets even better. But there are claims he was working for SMB Capital. SMB Capital sounds like a serious company. But peel back the curtain and you will find a company whose bread and butter is peddling courses strikingly similar to the ones Vadera offers, all while charging top dollar. They also have a very sketchy trading branch, which is unmistakably designed as a magnet for the widely delusional. You can apply there without having any skills. Forget diplomas or degrees. In this world, the next market wizard could well be someone who previously mistook a stock for livestock. We develop traders from beginner to consistently profitable to seven-figure traders. <laughs> yeah, sure you do, sure you do. They have a YouTube channel. Shall we take a look what they teach there? High profit option strategy. Technical analysis. Prop trader secret indicators. Top three technical analysis indicators. I mean, you can't make that up. They teach exactly the things that Vadera warns us about. Skepticism led one form detective to probe deeper, contacting SMB Capital directly in 2021 with a query. There is an educator called Nira Vadera who runs G7FX.com, who claims to have been a trader with you and says his course is what you teach. The aim was to verify Vadera's claims of being a trader of theirs. The response from SMB Capital was as revealing as it was dismissive. He was a trainee last year, so not sure how much experience he has. So 12 years after leaving Barclays with his much superior institutional trading techniques, he enrolled in a lousy course, trying to make it seem like it was some professional gig. And we are expected to buy into the fantasy that he's been a trading wizard throughout those 12 years. What a fucking clown. From supposed market wizard to chest of the YouTube channel. It's clear. The only thing he has successfully traded are his credentials for a clown nose and oversized shoes. Beyond what we've already unpacked, the forum users have dug up even more gems about Vadera that verge on the absurd. 
A sneak peek into their additional findings includes Plagiarism at its finest It appears Badera has been less than original, liberally borrowing his course content from other providers. His trading style, it can be described generously as absolutely dumb. It seems the only scenario in which his approach makes any sense is if his primary goal is to deceive. Vadera's not so stealthy entrance into the forum discussion using painfully obvious shill accounts is a spectacle of its own. Here's Vadera thinking he is a puppet master of anonymity, but his strings are showing. Pathetic attempt at manipulation, it's cringe worthy. Vadera's attempts with shill accounts are like a clown deluding himself into thinking a blue nose grants him invisibility instead of a glaring red. Such a pathetic disguise didn't deceive a soul. It merely highlighted his role as the premier fool in this circus. With this laughable act, he doesn't just wear the clown's nose. He embodies the essence of the biggest clown there is. What a pathetic clown. Attention to everyone who has fallen prey to a Nira Fadera schemes. If you have been duped by his false promises and counterfeit credentials, it's time to take action. We are not here to just uncover the truth. We are here to prompt change. Remaining silent only emboldens scammers like Badera to continue their deceitful practices. You are not just another statistic in this scam. You have the power to make a difference. It's imperative to report these fraudulent activities to Action Fraud, the UK police force's dedicated arm for fighting fraud and cybercrime. Your report could be the key to preventing others from falling into the same trap and could help bring Badera to account for his actions. Visit actionfraud.police.uk to submit your report or to start a live chat with an agent. It's time for action. Let's band together to put an end to this scam and safeguard potential victims. Together, we can ensure they will think twice before attempting another scam. Final warning. Don't fall for the slick tales spun by fraudsters like Badera. Without concrete, independently verified evidence of their supposed trading success, their crime stories are nothing more than a hollow show. Insist on clear, undeniable proof, not the dazzle of baseless claims and flashy advertising tactics. Arm yourself with skepticism and a demand for genuine accountability. Until next time. Guru Busters! <laughs>